Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the very first voiceover that I'm recording um, since I went back to school. Um, I'm currently in my student house, which has been super exciting, but we're going to talk about like the spread first and then we'll do updates on life, things I've been reading, everything like that. So how are you guys? Hope you're doing well. Um, today's video is going to be the plan with me for my October spreads in my reading journal. I actually filmed this super in advance before I even left for school because I knew I wouldn't really be able to film at school um my setup and everything is at home so i was filming in advance when i go home for our fall break i will definitely have to film my november and december setups as well but as for now um you know that's a problem for later the theme for this month if you didn't know i'm doing a ya book series theme for every month of the year in 2022 um the theme is shatter me which is really fun it's a dystopian series if you haven't heard of it though i'm sure you have because it has gained quite a bit of popularity through book talk and everything and yeah so um the journal i'm using is a paper shower bullet journal um this is one of my favorite notebooks to use i use two of them or I have used two of them as my daily journal so far and I definitely want to pick up another one in this teal color just to use um, as a regular daily journal so I will probably do that soon they are super discounted right now because I think Zenny the shop owner is trying to clear out her inventory and release new designs and everything which I think is super cool um, so I would definitely recommend checking them out they're like $12 Canadian they have 160 GSM paper and are just the greatest quality um, if you want to see the flip throughs to see how I've used them or watch any of my other reading journal videos you definitely can just to kind of get a look at what the quality is like um, nothing bleeds through on this which is amazing but yeah I will leave my 10% off referral link down below if you're interested um, in purchasing one for yourself because I definitely recommend like I said um, they're amazing Okay, moving on, um, for this cover page, or this whole setup in general, I was going pretty simple. Honestly, um, I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time to, one, film this because I filmed it pretty much, like, right before I left. Um, and, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I filmed it pretty much before I left, so I needed to just, like, do something super simple, which sometimes that's just what you need. So if you're looking for something super quick, this might be some good inspo for you. Um, I am just pulling in a few stickers from my collection, and what was I saying? Yeah, so, honestly, I don't know. I do like how it turned out. I think it's pretty cute, um, and yeah, okay. Anyway, I feel like I haven't... Every time I do a voiceover, I feel like I haven't done one in so long because usually a lot of my videos are just I talk while I film them, um, but not for these ones and not for my journal with me. So whenever I film like the once in a while voiceover, I'm like, what the heck am I saying? Anyway, um, what theme are you guys doing for your reading journal or bullet journal this month? I would love to know and get some inspo for my reading journal for next year. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do, although I do have some ideas. Those will probably be revealed later on. Um... Oh, also, I will leave all the artists for the fan art down below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, and okay, let's give you an update on my life. Like I said, I am living in a student house with three of my friends. Um, if you just heard one of my housemates say goodnight, um, I'm not sure if it caught or if my microphone on my laptop caught that in the voiceover, but you might have heard her just say goodnight. Um, and I really loved living in this house. To be honest with you guys, I have never really like cooked, so that was pretty crazy for me to have to like go from my mom making my meals or going out for dinner or getting takeout to having to cook all for myself but it's been so fun one of my friends has really been helping me out so I'm very appreciative of that but yeah it's been lots of fun cooking um I love making pasta ground beef um in like fried rice dumplings pierogies burgers and I've really been loving all my meals so far I haven't had anything I didn't like which is crazy um because I feel like at home I sometimes just have to eat whatever my mom makes, which is fine, um, but like here I can pick every single thing that I want, if that makes any sense. Also, I'm noticing just as I'm looking at this spread right now that basically all of the book pages that I inserted were covered up, which is annoying, but um, whatever. I think maybe I add some scraps later on. I don't remember for sure, but I think the spread turned out super cute. I really love the kind of symmetrical blocky elements. I feel like it really gives off the vibe that the Shadow Me book series gives as well, if that makes any sense. Um... And yeah, okay, anyway, I think we are moving on to the next page now where I will do my days read and books read page. On the left, I'm gonna um, draw little boxes later on. I don't think I do it in the video to show or color in for every day that I read during the month. 
Um, and then on the right side, I will just be listing out all the books that I read in the month. I haven't been reading a lot this month of September. Um, it's currently the 22nd as I'm recording this. And honestly, I just have been so busy with school and I haven't really had the motivation. So yeah, I haven't really had the time to read. I'm even going to include one of the books that I had to read for class in my... Um, or actually two of the books that I had to read for class. I'm going to include that in my um, wrap up just because I literally don't have any books to add. Um, so that's what we're going to do just because... I don't know I want to say that I read more books and I have read the books for class um, and they are like novels so I feel like it's okay to include them I don't know do you guys include books that you read for school in your reading journals um, or in like your goodreads okay hmm if I count it in my reading journal I also would want to count it in my goodreads so I guess I'll have to see if there is even an option to include it in goodreads um, but yeah anyway um, just using some paint samples, some envelope. Okay, basically when you get like documents or stuff from the government or just from the bank, they always come in these like security sealed envelopes or whatever they're called and the inside always has a fun design. So I like to keep them. You guys know I like to reuse um, like different packaging and materials for my journal. So that's another idea. Um, again, there's just some paint samples that I got for free from Lowe's or Home Depot or something of the sort um that I included in here and yeah it just makes for super easy decoration and I love it um for this page I'm using Juliet and Warner as the um fan art pieces and I think they look so cute um okay let's talk about what I've been reading recently I read all of Lily Gold's reverse harem books and oh my freaking god those books are amazing I would definitely recommend they like have the perfect combination of smut and plot um, and the story is really good. I just really enjoyed it. I didn't think it was going to be something I liked, but for real, it's so good. So 100% recommend if you're into more of the adult romance, but like still kind of cutesy, nothing dark. I would recommend those books for sure. Um, this past month, I also read Slammed by Colleen Hoover, which I do have to say I was not a fan of, which upsets me because I love Colleen Hoover and I hate that I don't love one of her books um although there are other books I read from her that I didn't love but this one I just like I couldn't even really say I liked it um which is a little disappointing although I do know it was her first book and her writing in my opinion has definitely improved over time I'm really excited for it starts with us which I believe comes out in October which is really exciting um I would definitely have to read that hopefully it ends up being my top read of the month I feel like I have too high of expectations for it we'll see anyway um, now I'm just doing a little page with some fan art of Kenji and Nazira um, to do my like thoughts on the new books that I read. Um, I've been doing this every month and again like I've said in the past this is not something that I will be carrying on into the next year um, but as of right now it's like I don't want to give up on it halfway through the year so I still have to do it for this month. Anyway I'm just making the cute little spread here nothing special just layering some like paper and things. Um, and yeah, also, um, I did skip the page between my days read slash books read and this page because I like to do a collage of all the books that I read for the month. Um, and I like print out the covers and everything. So that's why I did skip the page. Um, if you haven't watched any of my other, uh, reading journal videos, that's why. Um, if you're interested though, I would definitely recommend checking out my playlist because it might give you some inspo for other spreads. None of the themes I've done have been really like meant for a specific season so you can really incorporate them any time of the year in your reading journal but i think i'm just about done with this i do actually need to um slow down the rest of the video just so i can flip through and talk about the pages so i'll be back in a second okay i guess that was no time at all for you guys um but i think i'm just gonna put in some stickers now question mark oh i did put in this really cute quote this was a sticker sheet that i used to sell in my shop which is not open anymore unfortunately um and yeah so i'm just gonna include some stickers from i think pow's art nook these are her modern abstracts which are super cute i think my code belt 10 is still active i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm being honest but you could definitely try it out um and yeah, so I'm just going to include some really cute stickers just to add a little bit more to the spread because right now it's literally just some layered pieces of paper. Um, and I feel like adding a sticker always gives it a little extra like oomph. Um, but yeah, super cute. Love those stickers. Um, and then I'm also going to add some to the other page. What am I doing? Oh, I guess I'm adding more stickers. Okay. Okay. And then here I'm going to add more stickers. Yep. Or no, do I? I don't remember. I filmed this video so long ago, and honestly, I haven't really been thinking about YouTube much. Um, just been uploading some videos that I already had edited, which um, 
it's just been nice to have videos edited that I can post super easy um, but I probably will have to film some content once I'm home for fall break which is totally okay um, and yeah it looks like I'm just adding an extra sticker we should be done soon and so I can do my final flip through oh looks like I'm cleaning up and we will do the flip through in three two two and a half one zero okay here is the gorgeous cover page i really love how it turned out um we have my days read and books read page if you want to see the final flip through definitely subscribe here's my empty page for my covers and the books or sorry the book thoughts page that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye